morning, everybody. Good morning. Welcome to our devotional service. God bless everyone that is present here. We want to sing heartily, joining the choir, after we've given them our gratitude for the orchestration. Take the name of Jesus with you, and then great is the Lord. Um, we want to join them to sing heartily to the Lord um, from CGS number 34. We'll sing CGS number 34 together. And then we want to also welcome all of you that are watching us over the internet. Uh, the God that is blessing us here will bless you there. Amen. That as you are watching, we pray that God will make his, himself manifest to you Amen. in all of his attributes. Um, if you want to know who we are, this is the Apostolic Faith Mission. I think you would have probably stumbled over it on the internet. And then the branch is at number 95 Fenham Road here in London. If you live close by and you would like to come in person, feel free to do so. Otherwise, just continue to join us for the devotional service. And we can also assure you that we will have evening service starting at 5 p.m. tonight. But meanwhile, Brother Delight will lead us with the songs. We're going to take all the three verses while seated to God be the glory. take 207, 207, 207. We'll take the first verse and the fourth verse while seated. Um, are you walking daily by the Savior's side? Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? Do you rest each moment in the crucified? Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? And may God wash us in his blood. Amen.
681. 681. When you count the ones who love the Lord, count me. Amen. Uh, may God count us all today. Amen. When you count up those who trust his word, count me. Amen. Uh, we're going to take all the three verses again while seated after the introduction by the organist. <laughs> this morning. Um, our song before prayer will be 691. Blessed be the fountain of blood to a world of sinners revealed. Blessed be the dear Son of God, only by his stripes we are healed. Though I wandered far from his fold, bringing to my heart pain and woe, wash me in the blood of the Lamb. And I shall be whiter than snow. Amen. We're going to take the first two verses while seated. Um, and then for those of us who can stand, we'll sing the third verse. Uh, standing on our feet and remain standing to be led in prayer.
oh Lord God Almighty. We have come again according to your word that we should not forsake the assembly of ourselves together. We have obeyed our instruction. And for that obedience, oh Lord, come and bless us today. Amen. You say that when we gather in your name, you'll be in our midst. Amen. Come and be in our midst Amen. with your blessing today Amen. in Jesus' name. Amen. Our main purpose, oh Lord, is that we want you to make us like the tree planted by the rivers of water. Lord God, today, make us like the tree planted by the rivers of water. In the name of Jesus, make us like the tree planted by the rivers of water. In the name of Jesus, that is bringing forth his fruit in his season. We want to be bringing forth fruit. We don't want just to come here and go like that. We want to come here and take energy, spiritual energy, spiritual power, spiritual fulfillment, and to go forth and produce fruits, Amen. fruits to salvation, Amen. fruits to sanctification, Amen. fruits to baptism of Holy Spirit, Amen. fruits to anointing of God, Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. So that whatsoever we do it, that we shall prosper. Amen. This morning we want to prosper. Amen. Let this service prosper. Amen. Let this meeting prosper. Amen. Let this sermon today prosper. Amen. Let our singing today prosper. Amen. Let us prosper Amen. in the spirit, Amen. in our body, Amen. in our soul. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Let us prosper. Amen. It is your word Amen. and shall come to pass. Amen. Once you have spoken, and it will surely come to pass. Amen. So therefore we decree today, Amen. all those who are sick, heal them. Amen. All those who are sick, heal them. Amen. Our sister Kende Mustafa, raise up. Amen. Sister Olivia, heal her. Amen. Sister Pokwala, heal her. Amen. And everyone that is sick in the body, heal her God. Amen. Those who are sick in the spirit, heal them. Amen. Your message today, let it come with power. Amen. Let it come out with two edged sword Amen. and cut away sin Amen. and set us free Amen. and give us liberty. Amen. In the name of God the Father, Amen. and the name of God the Son, Amen. in the name of God the Holy Spirit, Amen. in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen.
Bible reading portion for this service is taken from 1 John chapter 5. 1 John chapter 5, verses 4 to 12. 1 John chapter 5, verses 4 to 12. For whatsoever is born of God overcometh the world. And this is the victory that overcometh the world, even our faith. Who is he that overcometh the world? But he that believeth that Jesus is the Son of God. Six. This is he that came by water and blood, even Jesus Christ, not by water only, but by water and blood. And it is the Spirit that beareth witness, because the Spirit is truth. Seven. For there are three that bear record in heaven, the Father, the Word, and the Holy Ghost. And these three are one. Eight. And there are three that bear witness in earth, the Spirit, and the water, and the blood. And these three agree in one. And if we receive the witness of men, the witness of God is greater. For this is the witness of God which he has testified of his Son. And he that believeth on the Son of God hath the witness in himself. He that believeth not God hath made him a liar, because he believeth not the record that God gave of his Son. And this is the record that God had given to us eternal life, and this life is in his Son. Whoever the last, he that had the Son hath life, and he that hath not the Son of God hath not life. I just feel like something good is about to happen. I just feel like something good is on its way. He has promised that will open all of heaven. Yes. And brother, it could happen any day. When God's people humble themselves to call on Jesus, and they look to heaven expecting as they pray. I just feel like something good is about to happen. And brother, this could be the very day. I have learned in all that happened just to praise him. For I know he's walking all things for my good. Every tear I shed is what all the investment is. For I know he saved me through his said he would. He has promised I know yet can add the phantom. All the things he has in store for those who pray. I just feel like something good is about to happen. And brother, this could be the very day. Yes, I've noticed all the bad news in the paper. And it seems like things are bleaker every day. But for this child of God is what makes no difference. Because it's bound to get better either way. I've never been more true than about tomorrow. 
sunshine always bursting through the skies of gray. I just feel like something good is about to happen. My brother, it could be the very day. I just feel like something good is about to happen. My brother, this could be, my sister, this could be, and everybody, this could be the very day. Our first text is uh, Romans. Chapter 10, we are reading from verse 1 to 4. Brethren, my heart's desire and prayer to God for Israel is that they might be saved. Amen. For I bear them record that they have a zeal of God but not according to knowledge. For they being ignorant of God's righteousness and going about to establish their own righteousness, have not submitted themselves unto the righteousness of God. For, for Christ is the end of the law for righteousness to everyone that believeth. Man's greatest need today is salvation. Yes. In Luke 19, verse 10, say, says, For the Son of Man is come to seek and to save that which is lost. Yes. There is only two categories of people. The saved and the lost. The necessity of the new birth is clearly stated by Jesus in John 3, verse 3 and 5. When Jesus says, Verily, verily, I say unto you, unto thee, Except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Except a man is born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Our main goal of worshiping or coming to church is to make heaven our home. Yes. And uh, making heaven our home is conditional. Mm -hmm. Except you and me are born again, mm -hmm. we cannot see the kingdom of God. Mm. But it is possible. Yes. Today, it's possible. Amen. Amen. Jesus is around. He is still saving souls. Yes. Verse 5. Verily, verily I say unto thee, except a man be born of water and of the spirit, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. We have to be saved yeah. to make heaven our home. Amen. May God help us. Amen. It's not enough to attend church. No. You can attend church 100%. Every service you are there. But if you are not saved, mm. Jesus was speaking <coughs> to the religious teacher, a rabbi, Nicodemus. You, you are the pastor. 
He was the teacher of the law. But Jesus was telling him, if you are not born again, whatever business you are doing in the church, whatever position you have in the church, you cannot enter the kingdom of God. It also undercuts the Jewish dependence on being sons of Abraham. The Jew Jewish nation always thinks that by being descendants of Abraham, heaven is theirs. This is also to our young people. The salvation of your parents is not your salvation. You must seek your own salvation if you want to make heaven your home. They argued with Jesus and they said to him, they answered and said unto him, Abraham is our father. Jesus said unto them, If Abraham is your father, you would do the works of Abraham. Yes. 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 Salvation is needed mm -hmm. to be able to do the works of Abraham. That's you cannot be you cannot be able to do the works of Abraham by following your parents who are saved and we are not saved. Or attending church or prayer meetings regularly without seeking salvation or is in vain. Salvation is very important. That's the doorway to heaven. Yes. It, it also reveals that there must be a work of God from above. It teaches the necessity of a new beginning. It is the new birth. A true salvation experience. That's the new beginning. Yes, we were born, we celebrate birthdays. birthdays. Mm -hmm. That is natural birth. But there is a spiritual birth mm -hmm. which is needed mm -hmm. for what every one of us to make heaven our home. Without that, it is just a social club. We don't benefit anything. We are not going anywhere. May God help us Amen. to do something today while, whilst it is today. Mm -hmm. Whilst Jesus is still sitting at the right hand of his father. Listening and seeing who are calling to him for salvation. It is clear that being born of water means being born of the word of God. Even as we are born by our natural parents, we must experience a second, a spiritual new birth. Without that, there is no heaven. If there is no heaven, what's the purpose of coming here? Our main goal, our main purpose is to make heaven our home. Yes. The freeness of salvation. Salvation is not a reward 
for the righteous. It is a gift for the guilty. We have done nothing righteous to deserve salvation. May God help us. Amen. Many people miss heaven because they think they, are, they have not, not seen self-righteousness. Philippians 3. Verse 4 to 8. Though I might also have confidence in the flesh, if any other man thinketh that he hath whereof he might trust in the flesh, I more. It was Paul speaking. Circumcised the eighth day of the stock of Israel of the tribe of Benjamin and a Hebrew of the Hebrews as touching the law a Pharisee a Pharisee the teachers of the law concerning zeal persecuting the church touching the righteousness which is in the law Blameless. May God help us. Amen. We might be doing everything right. That's right. Yeah. Even preaching very good sermons with eloquence. Mm. If we are doing that outside salvation, we are doing it in vain. Mm. That's, true. That's what Paul is saying here. In doing the law, in fulfilling the law, blameless. May God help us. Amen. To seek what is important. Let our zeal and our works in the church emanate from salvation Amen. itself. When we do that, we are blessed. Amen. May God help us. Amen. Salvation is not a reward for the righteous. It is a gift for the guilty. Many people will miss heaven because they think they have not sinned. The worst human badness is human goodness. If, a, if human goodness keeps us from salvation, it's terrible. Mm -hmm. May God help us Amen. To, to feel inadequate every time. When we come to church, we say, my cup is empty. Fill me. Amen. Amen. I'm not adequate. Lord, make me perfect. Amen. The Lord demands perfection. Oh, yes. Only the gospel gives perfection in the Lord Jesus Christ. Christ is the end of the law. Oh, yes. For righteousness to everyone that believes. That's Romans 10, verse 4. The assurance of salvation. We must not make a mistake in our spiritual journey no. to meet the Lord in heaven. The doctrine that say once you are saved, you are saved forever is false. The doctrine that say that a person can walk the aisle 
come to the pulpit, kneel down on these benches, say a prayer. After a prayer, he or she goes out and live a life of hell. It's false. It's false. That is not taught in the Bible. No. There is salvation. There is no salvation without repentance. Conversion brings change. There is no salvation without repentance. And conversion brings change. May God help us. You have to repent. And God, when he converts you, you will be a changed person. A new creature. A new life. That pleases God. It's not good to continue coming to church and live without salvation. It's bad. It doesn't help you. No. It's trying to soothe your soul. Just to please it that I've been in the church. I attend church every Sunday. That's not enough. It's no. good to attend church. The Bible says yes. that. But attending church without seeking the real thing, which is salvation, it's bad. Mm. You gain nothing. May God help us. If there is no evidence of righteousness and godliness in you, if there is no fruit of the Spirit in your life, it is because we have never been born again. We said conversion brings church. So if there is no righteousness and godliness in your life, if there is no fruit of the Spirit in your life, even if you are confessing, you are claiming to be born again, even if you are coming to church, you cannot make heaven your home. You cannot make heaven your home. Let's seek for salvation. Those of us who claim to be saved, let's make sure we are still saved. Maybe our salvation has slipped away long back. What remains is the works. Sometimes the devil doesn't remove you from coming to church. You continue coming to church. You continue preaching. You continue singing. But salvation has slipped away. We must always confirm every service, every time when we kneel down to pray, confirm your salvation with the Lord. May God help us. Yes. Young people, the gospel is yours. You must seek salvation. Yes. Don't depend on your parents' uh, salvation. It doesn't help you. No. If a man is not born again, he cannot see 
Salvation is an individual thing. God personalized it. Yes. It must be yours. Mm -hmm. It must be mine. Yes. In talking about those that are saved, Jesus said in Matthew 7, verse 20, by their fruit mm. ye shall know them. Yeah. The light which is put on a mountain shines. Oh, yes. <clears throat> if you are saved, truly, the fruits manifest. Oh, yes. There is no such thing as a fruitless saint. <laughs> God wants you to know that you are saved. God wants you to know that you, your sins have been forgiven. Amen. God wants you to know that you are going to heaven. Oh, yes. John 1 John 5 verse 13 These things have I written unto you that believe on the name of the Lord of the Son of God that ye may know that ye have eternal life. Mm -hmm. That ye may know. You must have that confirmation. We don't worship blindly. No. We must see where we are going. Oh, yes. yes. That's true. The Bible says the word of God is the, the light of your feet. Oh, yes. yes. We don't worship blindly. No. At all. There is something that God wants you to know as a fact. That you have eternal life. I have eternal life. Amen. You have eternal life. Amen. That's a fact. Yeah. And having assurance of salvation will eliminate fear and deliberate your life. The assurance of heaven yeah. is salvation. All fear is eliminated. Yes. Because you know where you're going. Yes. You know whom you are worshipping. Yes. May God help us. Amen. We must not assume the birth certificate is correct. Our spiritual birth certificate is correct. It's not by assumption. No. God confirms. He has that confirmation. Our spiritual birth must be certified by the government in heaven. Amen. Romans 8.16 says, The Spirit itself beareth witness with our spirit that we are the children of God. Amen. God always confirms. It's not hearsay. It's real. The confirmation is real. Yes. Are you saved? Did you receive that confirmation? Do you, did, do you still have that confirmation? <laughs> this happens when our names are written in the Lamb's Book of Life. Amen. Revelation 21. And verse 24 verse 24 to 27 and the nations of them which are saved shall walk in the light of it 
and the kings of the earth do bring their glory and honor into it. 25. And the gates of it shall not be shut at all by day, for there shall be no night there. And they shall bring the glory and honor of the nations into it. 27. And there shall be no wise enter into, into it anything that defileth, neither whatsoever worketh abomination, or maketh a lie, but they which are written in the Lamb's book of life. When you are saved, your name is written in the Lamb's book of life. That's why we don't have a register here. That's true. We don't have members. We must be members of heaven. Yes. Our register is in heaven. Yes. May God help us. Amen. Are you still saved? Are you seeking for salvation? May God help us. Amen. This morning, Our Lord Jesus is just moving around. Just looking for that tender, that broken heart, that contrite heart. And it will, he is ready to save. Amen. May God help us. Amen. The nearness of salvation. Amen. The nearness of salvation. Salvation is so near. Oh, yes. Romans 10. Verse 6. But the righteousness which is of faith speaketh on this wise, saying, Not in thy heart, who shall ascend into heaven? That is to bring Christ down from above. Mm. Or who shall descend into the deep? That is to bring the to bring up Christ again from the dead. But what saith it? The word is nigh thee, mm -hmm. even in thy mouth mm -hmm. and in thy heart. Mm -hmm. That is the word of faith which we preach. Nine. That if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus yeah. and shalt believe in thy heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. Amen. It's so close. Oh, yes. It is just a prayer away. Yes. May God help us. Amen. For with the heart men believeth unto righteousness, yeah. and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. Yeah. May God help us. Amen. So it's so clear that salvation is near. 11. For the scriptures say, Whosoever believeth on him shall not be ashamed. May God help us this morning. Amen. Jesus Christ has already made the provision of salvation available mm -hmm. to us through his incarn incarnation, crucifixion, and resurrection. Mm -hmm. Salvation is by God's grace through faith. Mm -hmm. May God help us. Amen. Confess that Jesus is Lord and believe your heart that God raised him from the dead. It's not that type of confession which we see in other denominations. That sometimes you are said to repeat a, a prayer. That is not the type of confession. 
this type of confession is whereby the word of God pricked your heart yes. and conversion is starting to take place. You recognize that you are a sinner. Then you say, Lord, I am a sinner. Please save me. Amen. That's the type of confession that God hears. May God help us. Amen. Not repeating a prayer of someone. God, the word of God will give you a prayer. It will teach you how to pray Amen. to salvation. Amen. May God help us. Amen. That's the type of confession that will save you today. Amen. Salvation is here. Amen. It's close to you. Yeah. You have it in your heart. Yeah. You have it in your mouth. Yeah. But it needs that conviction, yeah. that brokenness, yeah. that contract, yeah. which God cannot despise. Yeah. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Yes. Many people miss salvation by wanting Jesus as Savior alone only. They want Jesus as Savior only. They want to be healed. They want to be provided by, with all the provisions they desire for their own good, fleshly need. Jesus must be Lord yeah. in your life. Oh, yes. He must be Lord in your life. May God help us. Amen. Taking Jesus as Lord means taking yourself off the throne of your life and putting Jesus upon the throne of your heart, Amen. of your life. Let Jesus take control. Amen. Amen. Let thy will be done. Amen. Paul said when he met Jesus, he said, what do you want me to do? That's all what you need to do. Ask God to direct you. Let thy will be done. I've surrendered myself to you. Take control of my life. That, that's why Paul was used to say, I'm no longer I living. Mm -hmm. He gave his life, all his education, all his popularity, all his eloquence, he threw it away as done for the excellence of Christ. Amen. May God help us. Amen. If we are ashamed of Jesus, he will be ashamed of us. Matthew 10, verse 32 to 33 says, Whosoever therefore shall confess me before men, him will I confess also before my Father, which is in heaven. Verse 33, But whosoever shall deny me before men, him will I also deny before my Father, which is in heaven. For the word present the gospel to a sinner. We are preaching. Mm -hmm. It's the word of God. Yes. It's presenting the gospel to a sinner. Oh, yes. And this, it calls him to repent oh, yes. or her to repent oh, yes. and believe in Christ, in Christ. Then salvation is automatically there. Amen. James 1 verse 25 says, but whoso looketh into the perfect law of liberty and continueth therein, he being not a forgetful here, but the doer of the work, this man shall be blessed in his deed. May God help us. Amen the richness of salvation. Mm -hmm. Romans 10, 12 to 13. 
For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Amen. May God help us. Amen. Verse 12. For there is no difference between the Jew and the Greek. For the same Lord over all is rich unto all that call upon him. There is no Greek or Jew, rich or poor. Salve the richness of salvation is for all. Oh, yes. God is not in respect of person. No. He, wa he wants to save you. He wants to save me. Yes. May God help us. Amen. There is no one so good they need not to be saved. No one so bad they cannot be saved. God's boundless resources are made available to those who call upon him. The altars are open. You can come and call and ask God to save you today. He is going to save. He is going to sanctify. And he is going to heal the sick, baptize the Holy Ghost and fire. God bless you. Father, we thank you for the message of salvation once more. You've given us the opportunity to examine ourselves. Oh Lord, come and help us to truly examine ourselves. Have we gotten it or not? Help us to be truthful to ourselves. Oh, save us today that we perish not. For we pray in Jesus' name. Amen.